Hey everyone, this is Kendall from Church Motion Graphics, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial of how to create three new looks in ProPresenter by using shapes. And so, all throughout this tutorial, I'm going to be using the November 2016 CMG Mega Pack. So, all of the motions that you see are available in this pack, and that pack is available to download now. And so, let me show you the looks that we're going to be creating. I've got three different looks you can see here using different shapes inside of ProPresenter. Let me give you a full screen look here. You can see the first one has a rectangle shape and we've got it so you can just see through it just to see through to that background a hair. The next look is a diamond and we've actually got just an outline here that really lets that background pop through and finally We've got a circle. And so I'm going to show you how to create these looks. First, what we'll want to do is go to File and start a new presentation. And I'm just going to name this Shapes Tutorial on my end, but you can name this anything on your ProPresenter. And I'm going to go to Editor. And you'll see that there's text here that's got uh, just uh, whatever template you last used and so I want to hang on to my text uh, box here without it getting in my way so I'm going to go ahead and just cut that and get it out of the way so I'll have it for later but that'll give me some uh, you know some area to kind of work on my template here I'm gonna go ahead and assign a background to this presentation to this slide so that it will uh, we'll kind of know what we're looking at here and the first the first thing that we want to do is go up to the shapes tool you'll see a little rectangle uh, icon up here at the top of editor and so we're going to click that and it's going to insert just a white box right in the middle of our editor right in the middle of our slide and so to create the look um, that I showed you before what you want to do is you're going to look over here and there's these panels on the right side of the editor and some different things you can control there text and uh, and transitions and different things but what we're going to focus on is this little box here that's got the shapes and so you want to click that tab and it's going to open up these preferences and so what that's going to allow us to do is to control what this shape looks like and so to create the rectangle, I can do this several, several different ways. You can resize it with the uh, pins, the little boxes on the sides of the graphic there. You can always resize that that way. Or you can actually go over and change the, the width and the height manually. And so I already kind of got an idea of what size I wanted this to be for this look. And so I know that I want it to be uh, on my on my screen on my pro presenter, um, it will be different on every on every size screen, and so these numbers aren't necessarily going to work on your end, but you can kind of play around with it and figure out what size will work on yours. So I know on mine that I want it to be 930 on the width and 300 pixels on the height, and so I'm then going to take and drag that using the guides to put that in the center. There it is. Okay, so that fixes our size. And again, you can do that by dragging these pins or you can resize it using the numbers. The next thing that I'm going to change is the opacity. And you might have saw on when I gave you the preview of this, I actually had it so you could see through it a little bit. It was um, a little translucent. And so I'm actually going to drag the bar here down to 80. It's looking pretty good and you'll see fill color I'm gonna click this box and I think that a black box would look really good and so it opens up this colors panel and I like to use the color pencils here to select colors so I'm gonna select that black and you'll start seeing it coming together it's looking pretty good now before I cut our text box and so what I'm gonna do now to get it back is press control V and you'll see it drop back in there and get that centered up 
and there is our first slide, our first look. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and add another slide and we'll work on our second look. Again, I'm going to take and cut to get our text box out of the way so we can easily work on our slide. And the next one that we're going to do is a diamond shape. Um, what I want to do is go ahead and bring in our, our background, again, just so that we know what we're looking at. Drag that in there from our video image bin. So it looks like that. It looks pretty good. We're going to go back up to that shapes tool, add the rectangle. And you may remember that the look that I showed you, let me pull that back up, give you a preview. Okay, it's a perfectly uh, even diamond that we created. And so to get that look, I'm going to go back to our other presentation, go to editor. What I'm going to do is I know that to get that perfect square, I'm going to have to make these even, make these the width and the height the same number. And so again, I already brought my numbers in uh, for playing with it earlier. I know that I want it to be 745 pixels wide and 745 pixels tall. And so again, this will be different on every computer based on what size your screen is. Okay, so it's still a square right now. To get that diamond look, what we need to do is adjust our angle. And so I'm going to grab this here. And move it to, go ahead and just type it in, 45 degrees. And what that has done is created that rotation, gives us that perfect diamond shape. I'm going to use the guides here to get that centered up to the slide. Looks good there. Okay, and so if you remember from our preview, there was no fill, only an outline. And so what we're going to do to get that is I'm clicking on our shape and over here in our preferences I'm gonna to to actually uncheck fill color that's gonna take away all of the fill and I am gonna check line color right now it's set to black and ours is white I think that'll look pretty good so I click the box here it opens the color panel I'm gonna change it to white which is called snow okay and it's still not really visible and so what you have to adjust is line width and so you can play with different sizes to see what's going to work for you. Uh, I think what looks best is about 20. So I'm typing that in and hitting enter. And there's that look. Okay, so remember earlier I cut our text box and now I'm just going to paste that back in. It's looking good there. And there's our second look. Finally, let's do our third look you'll remember that it was a circle. And so this has been kind of a mystery on ProPresenter. We've had a lot of questions, people wondering, how do you do this? This requires no outside tools or anything like that. Uh, we figured out a way to make this happen inside of ProPresenter. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in my background, just so we have an idea of what we're looking at here. Again, I'm gonna cut our text box out. And I wanna again, use this rectangle tool, the shape tool up at the top. All right, this one is, uh, is actually pretty fun uh, to do. Let's get our size just right. I knew from before that 925 by 925 was gonna be a perfect size shape for us. And so it's still right now a square. What we're gonna adjust to achieve our circle is something down here called the corner radius. Now you can do some cool things with this. If you say you would put it on something around 20, you would get a nice uh, subtle uh, rounded edge box. And you can adjust that to, to different sizes and create some, some cool looks that way. But I discovered by increasing it to a really high number, you can actually achieve a circle. So I'm gonna put it to a thousand, hit enter, and look at that, it creates a perfect circle. I'm going to drag that to be right in the middle, and there's our circle. And so the look that I showed you earlier, we had a black box, so I think that'll look really cool. I'm going to go back to that fill color, and I choose black or licorice. And 
I'm going to adjust our opacity down to 50%. It's going to look really good on this background. Pressing enter. And there is our look. I'm going to paste our text box back in. Get that lined up just perfectly in the center. There is our third look. Let's close out of here and take a look, look at them. Don't they look great? Okay, so here's what you do. If you want to save these as templates so that you can apply them to different songs, it's really easy. Um, remember before when we drug the backgrounds on here so we could get a preview of what they look like. You want to make sure before you save these as a template that you remove those backgrounds. And so I'm going to right click and say remove, remove cue and it has the name of the, the motion. So let's remove that and do that to each of these. Now that we've got our backgrounds removed, what we can do is go to editor and I'm going to hold down command and click each of these. I'm then going to right click and do you see where it says template? You highlight template and go down to save selected slides as template group. And so with all three slides selected or if you were just doing one slide, say you created just the diamond, you could do just one at a time. But I'm going to save selected slide as template group it's going to pop up and I'm going to name uh, this, this template group Shapes. Hit save. It looks like I already saved, saved that before. So maybe I'll save as Shapes 2 just for this. All right. And so say we have a slide or, or a song rather. Uh, in, in your library that you want to apply this to. And so I've got Amazing Grace inserted here and you can see it's got kind of some funky uh, style happening here. And we're going to see what it looks like when we apply these templates. And so I'm gonna go right up with the song selected, go to template, and I'm gonna find that Shapes 2 template that I just created. And you'll see as I mouse over that I have the three different slides that we created. And so I really like the look of that template too with the diamond. And so I'm going to select that. And you'll see that it has reformatted the slides for this song. And you, based off of the, the font settings that I chose, you can see that some of them got a little, got a little funky there where it started, had a little more text. But um, that's very easy to go back and, and just select it. You can make your font size smaller, whatever you may need to do. Um, but let's focus on on this first one here. And I really like that black background. And so you can see that it was really easy to apply that template. And if we go here to get a preview, it looks really, really good. Let's say that we want to change uh, the song to another one. We can go back up to template, the shapes too. And let's say that we want to change it to the template one. And so there it is. It is changed it. You can see the background shining through there. Let's try it on a different background. Check that out. Looks really good. So there you have it. That is how you can create three looks using shapes inside of ProPresenter. Really easy. You can play around with this, do different kind of looks. You can imagine. You could change the the color of these boxes, you can change the shape or the rotation or the opacity. You can really get creative with how you do this. And the beautiful thing is that you don't have to bring in uh, another program. You don't have to use Photoshop. You don't have to bring in any images or PNGs or anything like that. You can do all of these inside of ProPresenter and save it as templates so that you can easily apply it to other songs. And so I really appreciate you watching. I want to remind you that you can get all of these backgrounds that you've seen in the November 2016 CMG Mega Pack. Um, they look great. They're going to look awesome in your church. And uh, we'd love to connect with you. You can check us out on churchmotiongraphics.com. Look us up on Facebook or Instagram. We would love to connect with you there. Um, but until next time, I appreciate you watching and you have to let us know what you think.